we are live at Monkey's Creations. How exciting is that? Okay, um, hold on one second. Make sure I'm in the right spot here. Why am I not seeing us? Hey, there we are. Happy Friday, everyone. We all know what that means. So let's wait for a few more people because I know you don't want to miss this. If you, um, if you don't know me, my name is Chris and I have Red Wine Wreath Boutique. Um, you can give me a like or a follow over there. You can um, give Michelle a like or follow and a share or a float or boat. Excuse me, we're not supposed to say that word. So um, today, while everyone's off playing at Crafters Convention, here we are. Um, I'm happy that we have our some people over there um, um, soaking up some new creations and ideas for us all. I feel very fortunate to be on Michelle's page, um, keeping her algorithms up, right? And um, wow, what just happened there? That was crazy. Anyways, um, let me make sure I can I can see the comments here. There we go. Can y'all hear me okay? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Here we go. Hello, Tina, Don, Donna, Pat, <laughs> Joan, um, Amy, Lori. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Okay, I know that Michelle's... Um, page has a lot more followers than mine does and the comments go a lot faster and excuse me i had a lot of coffee this morning Woo! um but i will try to keep up with your comments if you have any questions feel free um let's see uh what are we doing what are we doing well first first what are we doing it's friday i'm not going to get up off the chair I don't care if you get out of the bed, but just put down your coffee. Um, I spent the other day at the emergency room with the muscle spasm in my neck, so it's not going to be a, um, a big jig, but are you ready? It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, woo, woo, how'd I do? Not too bad for a 64-year-old, eh? <laughs> there you go. Now you can you can never say that Chris will not do the Friday dance, okay? And um, don't try to compare mine to Michelle's because I know mine was better, but that's okay. That's all okay. <laughs> all right, let's get on with it. Um, you all know that I created this scarecrow on the crossboard, and um, I've come up with a little variation of it. Ouch, my neck still hurts. Look, I still have all the scar. The bruising from the let me tell you just real quick if you are 64 years old and you go into the emergency room with neck pain you get the whole shebang i got the ekg i got all the blood work i mean thankfully i'm in pretty good health for an old lady but gee my knees i mean ivs and all the such just to just to um okay okay we know michelle has a little more jiggle next time when my neck isn't hurting i'll jiggle more <laughs> just for you Anyways, I got the whole work up, and so I'm bruised and battered, and I really have a sore neck, so I'm trying not to turn too much, but we'll get through this, okay? All right. Back to the task at hand. I've created the Scarecrow before using, of course, oh, let me, let me lower the camera down because I'm sick of looking at myself. Ow. Okay, how's that? Is that okay? Be okay of my messy area? All right, I've always done the legs with the 3D daisy petal, and I've saved a few to do. And then I thought, well, how fun if we did his arms, his shirt, in bandanas. So Michelle has um, shown you all how to, how to do a, a bandana flower, and she, her OCD is, is so on point. I tried to do the petal the same way, and I cannot get the things to line up. So then I was playing around, and um, <laughs> thank you, Sherry. Um, so I was playing around and I found a little bit stiffer way to add an extra fold in there and then, um, it, you know, makes it a little more sturdy and perfect for his shirt. So let's just get started, okay? 
For the legs, I used the um, horizontal white stripe, again the 3D daisy petal. Um, I saved, I thought I had, I had folded all of the bandanas. I wasn't planning on doing this live, <clears throat> but then um, Michelle was going to be away. and Well, Michelle was away. <laughs> you know what happens. Anyways, um, and let me just tell you one other thing about Michelle's page. If you agree to do a live on someone else's page, they have to add you as an admin to their page. My goodness, I could not keep up. Like, I have to apologize to Michelle if I clicked on your notifications or anything. It's just so overwhelming. I guess that's what, hap what happens when you have, like, you know, a bazillion and 12 followers. Um, but she um, definitely, definitely stays busy. So kudos to you, Michelle. I don't know how you do it. I apologize if I clicked on anything I wasn't supposed to. Um, just be happy I didn't change your profile picture or anything. Haha, ha. just kidding. All right. Welcome, welcome everyone. Wow, wow, lots of lots of new names. Um, if you're not familiar with me again, Chris, with Red Wine Reef Boutique, you can give me a follow on my page. I would appreciate it. Um, I'm getting kind of up there. I'm almost at 900, so bring them on. Okay. Um, Michelle can receive stars. She can. You can float her boat. You can share this video wherever you want, and all of that is appreciated. What do you want to start with, the bandana fold or the leg fold? Let's see. Well, let's get this zip tie off here first. Okay. The bandanas are from Amazon. It was a multi-pack of different colors. Um, I can't remember how many you get, but each bandana makes four. Um, thank you, Eva. Thank you. Each bandana makes four petals. For his arms okay so you know um it goes a long way it really does so i just bought the multi-pack and we're just gonna run with that i did make up oh, excuse me i did make up most of the petals but i will um make some more but let i'm jabbering too much let's um let's go ahead oh hi jonathan johnny johnny while your mom's away i'm over here on our page burglarizing it <laughs> how you doing boy good to see you <laughs> Now, not that I've ever seen you, but hey, I'm just holding down the fort for mom. Um, let's go ahead and finish up his legs. So we'll do the 3D daisy petal. Oh, I feel so privileged to have Johnny on her page. <laughs> okay, horizontal wide stripe. Curl side up. Uh, it is, I believe this is 10 inch, so it, if it's it's about ten and a quarter, so you're going to cut it at ten and a quarter. Okay. Diamond shape. Factory edge, top left, bottom right. Top to bottom, just like that. Flatten it out. Oh, wait. No, I'm doing it wrong. Stop. <laughs> top to middle. Rewind. Top to middle. Bottom to middle. Sorry about that overlapped you know the more you overlap the skinnier your daisy chain is, your daisy 3d daisy is going to be so a little overlap just like that flip to the other corner scrunch once in the middle scrunch the sides scrunch this side and you have this right so we're going to band that up Johnny, you're making me nervous on your mom's page. <laughs> Congratulations on all your gold medals, by the way. I do see those. And then what you're going to do after you have this is you're going to grab underneath. You're going to go all the way through to your, your fingers touch in the middle and put a zip tie around that. Slide it up, keep it loose, slide it up as best you can, as far as you can, and then cinch it down, slide it a little more, get it good and tight, and there you have it. Okay? And then we're going to cut this one off. Okay? 
And you're going to cut the end off because it's just too long. Well, thank you everyone for joining me. And there you have it. That is the 3D Daisy petal. Okay? I'll do it. Let's see. I need... Oh, one, two. I think I need... Let me see here. Uh, I'm going to do one more real quick. Wow, so many people. Thank you, everyone. Curl up. Top to middle. Bottom to middle. Turn it. Flip it up. Scrunch, 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 like that. Everyone following along. I'm a little bit coffee brained right now. I'm sorry about that. So I might be a little um, talkative. You're going to grab all of this up underneath until your fingers are touching like a ring. Okay. Go. Zip this up. Slide it up. Some tighter. Slide it up some more. Hello, Deanna. And just snip this off. If your wire cutters work. Trim that tail. 103, or we're going to be 105 today, so that's why I wanted to get this over with. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put some of these in. Ow, sorry. Ooh. Poor old lady that I am. Okay, so the way I've loaded the board is I've skipped the bottom two because I am going to add some raffia at the end. Um as well for his arms. So skip the bottom two, then I'm going to do two, four, six, eight for his legs, and then I will start his shirt. Make sense? Two, four, six, eight for the legs. Okay? <laughs> it's all right, Deanna. We all now um, have learned to um, read autocorrect, correct? <laughs> And then just place them in. I'm, I'm, please help me remember to pull the zip ties with this because I'm pretty sure not using my needle nose is what happened to my neck. So there's that. Okay. Put that off. Yes, if you um, are not already being notified of Michelle's lives, Go ahead and type in exclamation point notify. And whenever she goes live or I burglarize her page, you will be notified. Um, if you've already done it, don't do it again because it just creates the whole chat box psycho thing where it tells you you've already done that. So. It might be a little bit slow today because of all this, but. It is what it is. I'm here and you guys got the Friday damp, so hey. <laughs> oh, new here from Massachusetts. Wonderful, welcome. You'll love Michelle. I'm not her, obviously, but she is one of the most amazing teachers. Her and Lori Franklin are my mentors. And if I ever get a wild hair to um, do anything with greenery, of course, then there's Drake. <laughs> but, um, Yeah, Michelle and, and Lori are my inspiration for sure. Again, if you're um, unfamiliar with me, I have Red Wine Wreath Boutique on Facebook. If you'd give me a follow, I would appreciate it. I don't like the way these, this thing is cutting it. I need to use my zip tie gun, I think. But we'll go with it. Oh, I also have... And I'm going to be thinking about it while I'm doing this. Sorry. Oh. I could have gotten better cutters, I suppose. There we go. I also have a, what's a scarecrow without a crow, right? 
So I would like to attach him somewhere up here. And I'm thinking maybe just a floral pin um, with a pipe cleaner. Um, well, I can't type my page link in right now. I'm busy, Donna, can you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I suppose I could. Hold on, let me try. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, let's see here. Hold on, I'm, I'm doing it. That's the best I can do. Did it work? Oh yeah, there we go. There it is. I think I did it. Did I? Wait. No, same. Okay. Did it work? I don't know. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about the holdup. <laughs> All right. Again, um, a little crow, but if you could think of anything better to attach him, I would appreciate it. Um, again, like I was thinking, a floral pin and um, a pipe cleaner, and then I could just loop him around here kind of underneath the bandanas. So that's my thought. We'll do that at the end. Okay. So two, four, six, eight. We should be done with these legs. Let's move on to the shirt. So let me show you how I fold the bandanas. I do have, um, I keep cutting out. Is that happening to anyone else? Maybe if you go out and come back in, that'll help. Hopefully it's not me. I'm sorry. Okay, as you can see, I have already cut these bandanas. Um, they come folded in fours. I just kind of followed the lines. If you're OCD or anything, I'm sure you can measure them. Um, I did not. But they come out to be roughly 11 by 11. So, that works. Okay. Of course, um, wrong side up. Make it a diamond shape with the factory edge. Thank you. Thanks, Deanna. Um, uh, factory edge top left and then it's going to have this one at the, at the bottom left here because that's just the way it is okay so our usual top to bottom flatten it out now for um, to make it more sturdy and um, excuse me <coughs> to make it more sturdy I'm going to take this corner and fold it over one more time for a smaller triangle and then I don't like this side, so I'm flipping it over so we have more of the paisleys or whatever on this side. Make sense? So you have an open side and a closed side. So, much like, um, say, the Dean Michael or whatever, you're just going to find your center pinch. And honestly, this, I shouldn't put my glass board down. It's not easy to pinch on this, on this mat. Pinch, pinch pinch. Same on the other side. I'm going to turn it around so I can actually grab hold here. Ah. Pinch. Somewhat. Pinch and pinch. And there you go. It's it's kind of an ugly mess at the bottom. Um, I rubber band it up. Who cares? <laughs> no one's going to see it, right? Hopefully I'm not being too scatterbrained here, but um, that you can understand what I'm doing. I'll fold one more for you. And then fluff it out. And there it is. Okay, makes sense? Following me? Let's do one more. Wrong side up. Factory edge, top left. Corner to corner, and then this corner, this is my right, right corner to the left, flatten it out again, I'm flipping it over so I can have my paisleys, a little pinch, I, I suggest putting like your glass mat or something under, I had my glass mat in the other room when I was folding some and it was much easier, it slid easier. Just scrunch like you would the D. Michael. And we're 
rubber band it. There we go. Any questions? And then just open it up a little bit. And you always have your, um, you know, the open side on one side and your closed side on the other. So you want to keep those consistent. Okay. All right. Let's add some to the board. <clears throat> Sorry, my neck. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to keep some kind of a pattern going here. So we'll start with the pink. Okay. Get these in here. Kind of got a long shirt, huh? I suppose you could go up two more if you wanted to on the. Um, hi, Sandy. Um, up two more on the on the pants if you wanted. But hey, he he likes his shirt tail hanging out, so we'll go with it. Right. All right, I'm going to use this. Okay. Got this little shirt going here, so now we've got to do green. I need to get some of these petals up here because I can't keep reaching for them. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful Friday afternoon. Anybody got big plans for the weekend? Mine is to stay indoors in the air conditioning because we've hit quite the um, heat wave over here. I'm in California myself, so. The weather had been pretty good to us for a while, but now we're heading into it. Okay. Following along. All good. Hello, Regina from Crafters Convention. <laughs> you spending all your money on all the Disney cups and such? Hey, Tina. Thanks for stopping by. I know you guys are busy spending all the money you've got. Well, we're over here making things to sell and make money. Ha ha. Just kidding. <laughs> you guys missed the Friday dance. I did do it. Ask around. And apparently I didn't disappoint. All right, orange next. Not positive yet as to what I'm going to do in the middle here, but we'll get there. I got to quit pulling. I have to pull with these because of my poor old ancient neck. Two orange. And as you'll notice, see all the uh, open sides are, are to the left here, you know, so keep it consistent. That way you won't um, flip your petals to the other side and get them on a step. I was even pri privileged to have Michelle's son join me for a little bit. How fun was that? I felt very honored. It made me nervous. <laughs> okay. So now let's move over to this side. Let's start our pattern again. The pink. Again, the um, the bandanas are from Amazon, and you get a huge pack, a multicolored. I I thought about and um, how many bandanas. Well, let's see. Um, each each bandana, oh, I should have counted that, I'm sorry, each bandana makes four petals. So I can give you a count at the end of exactly how many, okay? Or you can count them as I go if you'd like. <laughs> I mean, so here's, here's one bandana, just of orange. Here's one of green. Here's one of pink. See? So it doesn't take that much. I also thought about doing his legs... And somebody else do this, it would be really cute, in just the um, solid blue bandanas, but I didn't have enough. So, there's that. But somebody else do it and then show me, please. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't that have been cute if he was all bandanas? 
but I'll leave that for you guys. <laughs> Remind me at the end though, and I will, um, Carol, and I'll try to remember to count them up, okay? green. I think this is really going to be cute though. Don't forget if you're not um, already following me, I am Red Wine Wreath Boutique. You can give my page a like. It's somewhere in the comments here. <laughs> and you could um, sprinkle Michelle or send her over the balls or up the creek or float her boat or whatever you do. She would appreciate that as would I. While she's off gaining inspiration for us all, you know, we appreciate that as well. I am tucking, um, I am trying to be consistent with right over left. Oh yeah, I'll be doing way more lives on my, on my page. Sure, I've done a few, they're there. Um, I do need to get them, oh I've got to go with this. I do need to get them all uploaded. I do have a YouTube channel, but I always forget to do that part, so maybe today I'll work on that inside in the air conditioning. <laughs> okay, orange. <gasps> I don't have enough orange made. Well, there we go. we got to fold two more. Huh. Could have swore I had enough, but we, but, but we didn't. Okay. That's all right. Let's fold some more. Again, surged edge, top, left. Of course, we're having fun, Regina. You missed the Friday dance, girlfriend. We know you're having fun because you keep posting all about it. <laughs> Flip it over. You know, the bottom doesn't have to be perfect because they're not going to cut perfectly unless you measure them all, which I'm not doing. But, you know, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see the bottom. Okay. One. Scrunch. Okay. There's an orange. I thought I had made enough. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, she doesn't need to do the Friday dance. I already did it for her. You're welcome. <laughs> Pop it out a little bit. What did I need? One more? One more. I thought I was all prepped for this. I'm, I apologize. It's all right. Irene, what, you didn't like my dance? <laughs> um, okay, this one's kind of cockeyed for sure. Here, let's try a different one. Options. Okay, a little cockeyed, but we'll make it work. Fold, fold. I hope you're following along all right. I'm not being really specific with instructions right now, but we've done a few already, and I thought I had them all made. Apparently I don't know how to count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello! Am I, now I'm talking to John. I always have to ask that. I'm so sorry. John or Missy? John, right? <laughs> I know you're on a lot of my lives and I appreciate you. Okay, let's get these orange in here and then see what we need to do with this center. Yes, pulling it with these is, I always wondered why people used them until um, I actually had them shot in my neck for muscle spasms, and I figured out why. So, use John, okay. 
use your needle nose to pull your zip ties. It'll save on um, neck muscles for sure. What's the measurements on the squares? They run about 11 by 11. So I didn't measure them. I just use, um, I just used, they came folded, you know, and so I just cut them in fours from the folds. Yes, 11 by 11. I mean, some are a little bit off, some are, you know, not perfect, but whatever. I'm not OCD. Okay, now, this center. Let me see. I think I'm going to go, I might go one this way, one this way, one this way, and then one this way. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right, if you've never loaded a zip tie onto the Unique in the Creek board, this is how you do it. Zip tie, flat side always facing up. I'm going to use this shared hole here to get these um, nubs covered. So down, keep that flat side toward the ceiling. Up the other side. Wow, M uh, Michelle appreciates the stars. Wonderful, Irene, beautiful, thank you. Okay, so let's try that out. Let's see here if we're gonna get enough coverage. Let me try placing these first. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna do one shared hole, shared hole here's going down. Did that make sense at all? Very nice of you, Irene. Thank you. And then I just want to get all of these nubs covered up in the center. Um, excuse me, my allergies. Let's see. And then one here. I think that ought to do it. And then one more. Okay. Okay. You, yes, um, if, on Monkey's Creations, on her YouTube channel, she made a whole flower with a different fold. And it was fantastic. Absolutely. Like, try any of the, um, try any of the flower petals. See how you like it, you know? Okay. So this one will go this way. I'm just kind of winging it. Huh. Just like monkey would do. Um, for now, I apologize if this doesn't make sense right now, but one here. I just want to make sure I get this the center all covered. Make sense? And then I guess the whole middle will be blue. How's that sound? Okay. Hmm. Oh, I might even do a diagonal to cover these corners and make like a little circle around. What do you think? I'm thinking I'm doing that. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, let me get these out of this. Thank you. Michelle, thanks you. We all thank you. You guys are awesome. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm going to do is here in the middle, I am going to, you know, because unless your petals are big enough, um, sometimes you have these corners um, that don't quite get covered, and I can't stand that. That drives me nuts. So I think I'm going to do a diagonal here, and um, let me see, is that the two I want? Yes. What I'm going to do is go from, from here, can you see, from here down to the corner, okay? And that way that petal will um, cover up that corner. How, how you could do that since the material is flimsy. Michelle shows you on a small board how to do that. Um, just search her YouTube for Monkey's Creations and it should be pretty close up there somewhere. And um, is that what I wanna do? Wait. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I, I apologize, I'm not being very thorough here. I'm gonna go across here. I'm going to go across right here and just point that pedal down, if that makes sense. 
Let's see. Yes, I think that'll work. Let's try it. And if it doesn't, we'll take it out. Yes, thank you, Tina. Monkey's Creations YouTube page. And if they're done on the small board and with a bit larger pedal, and if it feels a bit flimsy, it's still, um, the board is going to help hold it up. It'll, you know, support it, let's say. Yes, I like this. Okay. I will show you the back of the board when I'm done, because I'm just kind of, again, winging it right now. That's perfect. Okay, I like that. I think this is really going to be cute. You know what would have been even cuter is if um, I could have found bandanas to match his his handkerchief here or his bandana here. <laughs> but, you know. Or if I could have changed his bandana, right, to match mine. Okay, let's see how I did that. So I went there to there. Okay, so now I'm going to go, gotcha, almost confused my own self there. I'm going to go from over here to over here. So across the center, you will have three, all like stitching. Can you see that? Okay, so we're going to go all the way, ah, I'm backwards, all the way across here on the center. Why, why does that do that? Okay, all the way across the center. <laughs> it's so hard to look at the camera and the computer and see which way I'm going. <laughs> Thank you, I did great with the dance. Hey, thanks. Okay, we'll do this pink one. And just point it out to the corner here a bit. He's going to have quite the snazzy shirt, isn't he? Okay, now what? No, what am I doing? I still need to probably do the same across there then. I've lost track of what I'm doing now. Yeah, I'll probably just do the same thing right across here for the other corners. Okay? So I will go here to here. Okay. Here to here. This is another easy way to um, load your zip ties from the back. And then here to here. So those center holes are going to have three all the way across. So we can get these corners covered. Make sense? Thanks. Thank you, Nunn. Okay. Okay. Now for the pattern, I think we'll... I think he's kind of a patchwork kind of guy. So I'm not really con concerned about the, the pattern, per se. <laughs> What blue on the other? Oh, I will. I'm, I'm going that way. Thank you. Whew, scared me. You scared me. Okay, now I've connected the wrong... Where's that one going? Oh, wait. I've lost the end of my zip. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you scare me like that. The blue on the other arm. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, wait, I see what you're saying. Oh, the, the, yes. Oh, my goodness, you saved me. Thank you so much. You're right. Whew. It's so hard to talk and, and read at the same time, especially after four cups of coffee. <laughs> I see what you mean now. Thank you. Donnie, you, you rock. Okay, the blue on the other arm. Whew. Thank you. I would have been so confused if I forgot that one. Oops, sorry, wiggled the table. Don't make anybody sick. Okay. Blue on the other arm secured. Whew. Thank you for that. Now let me see. Okay, I still need a zip tie across across here. Let's do 
get that in so I know where I'm what I'm doing. There to there. This is what happens when you wing it, you know. But there's no better people to wing it with than you all because you're so helpful. Okay. So what colors do I have made already? Um obviously not enough. We have this blue one here. Let's just throw it in about in the center. So we can have like a little blue tie going down. Oh, I could put straw in the corner. That's a that's a possibility. Yeah, save me from yelling at myself afterwards. No, save you from cussing during a live, honey. <laughs> the pants is horizontal wide stripe mesh, cut at 10 by 10. And it's a 3D daisy petal. I showed that at the beginning. And um Let's see, what color do we want more of here? Should we do some more? Here, let's do two pink, or whatever this is. I have one in here. Hold on. Okay, so let's do a pink in here. Oh, but see then? <laughs> okay. Let me have a sip of this coffee. collect my thoughts and see exactly where this guy's gonna go okay so I do believe these nubs can go up and we'll be okay if not we'll add one more petal again we're winging it along is that have I lost anyone yet <laughs> You know, when you're doing these kind, you just need to fill in your spaces, you know? Oh, you're right, I need some green in there. Too late. <laughs> Too late, sorry, John. The green are his cuffs, we'll just go with that, okay? <laughs> All right, one more pink. One more pink, and then... We'll see how it looks. Oh. Trying to avoid sitting things on the ground because when I bend, it hurts. Okay. Bandana again. Factory edge, top left. Fold it into a corner to corner. Take your right corner to your left corner. And then you shake it all about. No, just kidding. And then I'm going to flip it over, because I like this side, by my middle. Scratch, 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 scratch. Put a little rubber band around there. I know the color combination is pretty wild, but hey, he's a patchwork scarecrow. It would be cute as you could get some really um, cute fall bandanas and do it, too. Okay, let's get this one in there. Let's see how we're coming along. Let's see. Okay. I think, I think we might be okay. Welcome everyone. Thank you for coming in. Um, if you're not familiar, my name is Chris and I have read by Wreath Boutique. And Michelle has allowed me to burglarize her page today, which I appreciate greatly. But if you're not following me, I'd appreciate a follow too. Again, Red Wine Wreath Boutique. Okay, so. Now his head. <laughs> Now I did put um, two cable mounts on because I wasn't sure on my other um, scarecrows, I, I did attach it with two, just to um, hold it in place. Also, I may add a petal or two here, and it's simply to hold the mask up because you don't want it caved back like this. Make sense? 
or you could always put a piece of styrofoam or something just to um just to keep it level with the with the shirt okay so personally i think since these nubs aren't that big but if i made if i just did a ruffle let's see if i just did a ruffle out of this how this would work uh, okay i just want something to stabilize his um his head so or this i'm sorry the sign <laughs> So that it doesn't, um, it so it doesn't fall back. I love coffee too, but I have a tendency to sometimes drink too much of it, and I'm like, woo, wacko. I'll take this all the way over so it doesn't. Um, did you see that? It was just a. This is just a filler ruffle, scraped up the middle. I'm going to take this side all the way over, um, so that it stays condensed underneath his his sign underneath his head <laughs> you guys have been fun I'm, I'm enjoying this thoroughly <laughs> okay so we basically just have a something for him to rest his little head on now let's see where we need to put it we put it about right there I think that might work okay so let's zip tie that one in that's going to be on the second set of holes. I know four cups, yikes. I know, but I had told Michelle I would do this, and then my shoulders have been hurting so bad, and I've been a little, a little lazy. So I had to get moving this morning. What's a girl to do, right? Four cups of coffee and get wacko. <laughs> uh. Oh, you love coffee and red wine? You're my kind of people right there. <laughs> right there with you. Not together, though, ever. But. All righty. Let's see how that's going to work. Oh, look, I think it's going to be perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this top one right down where we put the ruffle. Probably smarter to attach the bottom one first, but I never claim to be smart, so there's that. Um, okay, I'll show you the back when I'm done, because I'm, I'm attaching this one on row four. They, oh, I'm sorry, the scarecrow head, you can get it, you, um, you can creek. She has them. Definitely unique in the creek, obviously. See my uniform? <laughs> Almost all of my stuff comes from Unique in the Creek. You know, the bandanas, of course, were from Amazon. Um, I'm a huge Unique in the Creeker. So, I'm not going to do this too tight just yet. I want to make sure I like where, where he's at. Okay. Yeah, thanks, John, because I know last year I had some issues with... Um, what do you think? How's he look? Does he need to go up one more? Let's try it and see, okay? Because he looks like he's he doesn't have a, a neck. But again, his neck is covered by his handkerchief. Turn what piece the other way? The ruffle? I'm just really using that as filler, though. I'm not following you. Sorry. Oh, thanks, you guys. It's adorable. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move that up one and this up one. Let's see. Pull these out. Maybe give this guy a little more of a neck, huh? Oh, I felt that pop, and I thought, oh, no, the cable mount. That cable mount has been glued on there with E6000 for about four days. It better not come loose. We don't have some problems. No. Okay. He's cute. He needs a home. <laughs> All righty. Well, you're welcome to take him home with you for a price. <laughs> um. 
Okay, okay, let me see how that looks before we tighten them all in. Yep, much better. More gooder, more gooder. Okay, let me tighten him up some more. Go ahead and shut the door in this room so the dog wouldn't bug me in. It's getting warm. Getting just a tad bit warm. Yeah, the straw could go behind his head as well. I'm I'm a little bit concerned. I ordered a spool of this um what do you call it? Raffia stuff. And um Oh, what do you think? Can you see him? Okay. Um let's go ahead and add this raffia. And then we'll finish him up, okay? I'm gonna leave these pipe cleaners long until I um, finish up. Okay, here we go again. Alrighty, these are gonna go on the ends here. I actually should have done this first, but um, maybe I couldn't find my raffia right away. <laughs> Just add the zip ties into the first two holes on the bottom. Thanks you guys for hanging out with me today. Appreciate it. I was getting a little tired of looking at everyone have fun at the crafters convention and me not being there, you know. <laughs> Raggedy Ann and Andy. Norma, please, please do. Please do. I'm absolutely sure you could find um, a Raggedy Ann head and Andy as well. <gasps> and if you do, please share it with me at Red Wine Reads Boutique, okay? Please. How cute would that be? Okay, I, I'm sorry you can't see, but I'm just I'm just zip tied in these bundles of raffia. I wrapped these at 12 inches 10 times. Okay. I know you can't. You guys know what I'm doing though, right? Okay. And there's one bundle. We'll cut them all when I get done here. I feel like I'm taking forever. Am I? <laughs> Maybe it's just the coffee again. Sorry. It's just so big. As you can see, I'm just putting the bundles into the zip tie. Oh, thank you, Carol. <laughs> Next time I'll try not to be so coffeeed out. <laughs> the snowman. I thought about a Santa Claus, too. You could do them all in red, maybe with some white cuffs and such. Snowman would be cute. Okay, let's see what they look like if we cut them. Oh, that's right, Regina. Regina is the, um, she's the licensing infringement police, so be careful. <laughs> But you're right. You could just do um, rag dolls or call them what you want. Make somebody um, make them just a tad bit different, or or may, if you're giving them as a gift, then you know maybe. The possibilities are just endless, you know. <laughs> These are not easy to um, find the center of. I know, I know. The raffia does kind of give him the whole scarecrow effect, I guess. I mean, what's a, what's a scarecrow without some hay sticking out everywhere, right? Of course, you could trim them up or, or not. <laughs> One more. Okay. There's those two. Let's do the two on his arms. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me. My um, 
my link to my Facebook page, Red Wine Reef Boutique, is posted up, up there in the comments somewhere. If you would like to follow me, you can go over there and give me a follow. That would be appreciated as well. Okay, that one and that one. We're getting down to the wire here. I might not even be able to watch this live back. I've talked everyone's ears off. Oh, I'll have to, oh God, how many bandanas? Okay, okay, let's do this. There's, okay, for every four, that's one bandana. One, two, two and a half, pink. Keep track, somebody, somebody add this up, two and a half. One and a half. Another one and a half. Uh, and one. How many is that? Come on, come on. Where's my mathematicians? Come on. I can just count them. Let's see. There's one bandana. Two bandanas. Three bandanas. Four bandanas. Oh God, now I lost my place. <laughs> I can't do this, you guys. One bandana. Two bandanas, three bandanas, four bandanas, five bandanas, six and a half bandanas. Six and a half bandanas, or if you want to break them in, there, thank you. Whew, gosh, oh, that was stressful. <laughs> um, if you want to break it up into colors, then, you know, you saw what I did. I just kind of did whatever. That was scary. Just remember each bandana makes, yeah, go with seven, whatever. Um, each bandana makes four petals, so. I have a ton of bandanas left, too. Uh, I don't know how many were in the packet. You can look on Amazon, it tells you. I think it's something like 16 or something, if I'm not mistaken, so. And they have all kinds of them, I mean, all kinds. Or, you know, if you're a quilter or something like that and you have the material, just cut it into 11 by 11 squares and do it with material. There's that possibility, too. Of course, I would never do that, but that's, you know, that's me. Okay, apparently I still need to make two more bundles. But there we have some hands. Some little straw hands. Two and a half pink, one and a half Wow, John. <laughs> Wait a minute there. One and a half green, one and a half orange. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Let me make two more bundles real quick. Thought I was more prepared. Sorry about that. And then he should be about done. Okay. Of course. Of course. Of course. Measure Buddy. Unique in the Creek. Of course. Um, 12 inches. Okay, we're going to wrap it 10 times, one, ten, of course your measure bed, buddy, as well as all your materials can be purchased at uniqueinthecreek.com. Oh, and let me say, I heard that Monkey's Creations is having a sale in honor of Crafters Convention over on her website. So if you need Greek centers or anything like that, head over there. She's having a sale. I'm not sure how long it lasts, but go to monkeyscreations.com and uh, do a little shopping there. She's having her own little Prime Day deal going on. Okay, I didn't explain any of that. I just pulled it off, folded it in half, sorry. <laughs> and one more. 12 inches. One. Oh, no, I'm not. 
Well, that's just cool. I mean, this wasn't enough like watching paint dry. Right? Now you gotta watch me take this knot out. Oh, goodness. I might just, oh, now I've lost count. Anybody know how many times I went around? One, two, three, four, five. Let's say five. The raffia I did um, get from Amazon. I, I, I prefer the spool over the stuff that comes in a package because I have no patience to un un untangle that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, just taking this off, I just slide my thumb in here. Find the middle somewhere, fold it in half, and band it up. Thanks everyone for helping me with the questions and such. Um, it's hard to keep up and pay attention and me and my scatterbrain, you know. Okay, two more hands. Measure buddy away. We can't lose the measure buddy. Save those two holes on the end for his little straw. His straw paws. <laughs> but of course now I can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, uh, from, um, the raffia came from Amazon. Um, you can just look up raffia spool, I believe, or something like that. You'll see it. Yes, I can't, I, I just can't do that thing that's in a package and it all comes out and you're just like, wah. <laughs> Definitely not me. Thank you, Bev. Those are sweet. Alrighty. One more paw. I, need, I can tell I need to tighten his head a little bit more. And... It's so messy in the bag. I just can't tolerate that kind of stuff. My zip ties are um, six inches, I think. What is that? Yep, six inch. The six inch. I can't stand anything longer than that or thicker than these. These are the same as I think what um, Lori sells. All right, cut these off. Scarecrow's face if I'm unique in the creek. If you don't want to order from there, there is I believe they haven't been cracked out there, but I came from Unique in the Creek. Yeah, John, I don't like the um the longer zip ties. They're too they're too heavy and they're just too thick and they're they're a waste. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's good to have a few on hand for certain things, but. Okay, I'm going to trim these up a little bit. Long one there. Hopefully I got all the loops. Okay, let me tighten this down a little bit because it's bugging me. Good. Put that in. Okay. Now, shall I attach the crow to his shoulder? There's some weird wires poking out the bottom that are just not going to be enough for me, so off those will come. I mean, what's a scarecrow without a crow? <laughs> Obviously not doing his job. Oh, but if he's sitting on his shoulder, then he's not doing his job, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Okay, well, let's say mine's not a scary crow. How's that? The crow came from Amazon as well. And Chris definitely needs some new wire cutters. There we go. Okay, now let's see if we can make this work. Let me see. Let me get another thingamajigger. I'm going to use a green zip tie. I mean, a green pipe cleaner, excuse me. This, this guy is um, styrofoam. Let's see about placement here. Where do I want him? Hold on. Let me do some wreathing yoga here. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should. I think that might work. So where am I putting? I kind of just want to take his legs off because the legs are kind of, oh, let's hope this works. And we might not even have a crow. Okay, we'll see. Oh, one leg gone. Don't watch if, if you're offended by that, but I just removed his legs. Much better, okay. Okay, oh, that was stressful. <laughs> Thanks, Regina. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'll, I didn't plug my glue gun in because I have a tendency to, um, you know, bump my arm into it or something. So I will probably just add this floral pin, and I might, like, I might cut it down just a little. And, oh. I don't know where that would but I hope I don't step on it. Okay, let's cut that down. And then just, I'll floral pin it for now, and then I'll probably add some hot glue. The crow is from um, Amazon. Super cheap, too. Like, I don't remember how much, but super cheap. Okay, so we have now dissected and mutilated the crow. Sorry. All right, so I'm not going to make him really tight because I'm going to put some glue on there as well. Hopefully it holds well while we uh, get this much done. Sit pretty, little bird. Sit pretty. I just want to make sure those petals still cover the board and do what they're supposed to do. Oh, he's kind of cute, though. Adjust your petals just a little bit around him. Make sure all the ends are covered. Alrighty, let's see. Let me get this tight. I'm sorry, this is prolonged the agony here just a bit, but let me get these cut shorter and tucked in. Somebody send me a reminder to order some new um, wire cutters, please. A little bit over these. It probably wouldn't have hurt to add another floral pin and um, and done another um, another one back here to hold him, you know, perfect. But for sake of time, I'll just run with this. All right, let's get these cut and out of the way. No scratching anyone's doors. Thankful for the unique and the creek boards in that aspect. For sure. scratchy things tucked in. Got a hanger. Did I 
Did I just twist that zip tie? Ah. Are we ready? Here we go, my friends. Out my shoulder. Sorry. Did that work? Okay. Ta-da! What do you think? He's got his little friend with him. He's not doing his job very well. Can you see him all? Comments? Questions? He's cute. Oh, you're welcome. The crow is the perfect touch. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, he's pretty, uh, pretty handsome little guy. You know, I'm, I did one before too. And, oh my neck! I'm so sorry. Um, I did one before too, and I added some raffia underneath here that turned out really well. Um, I can't remember her name. Another lady just recently posted and sent me the sweetest email. Um, she had followed a tutorial I had done on my page for a different one. And hers turned out absolutely adorable. And she did add a lot of raffia under here. And it looked so cute. So cute. You know, much like the scarecrow in the movie, you know, where he has all of that sticking out from his neck. So, all right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me on Michelle's page at Monkey's Creations. Again, don't forget, she's having a sale um, on her website today. So jump over there, Monkey's Creations, and I have to say it like this, monkeyscreations.com, <laughs> and um, take advantage of her wonderful, wonderful lease centers. I know every time I get on there, I'm like, oh, oh, you know? She makes amazing lease centers. She has a wreaths on her page. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, um, what, the sale um, pertains to, but check it out, check it out. You know, she's she's amazing. You can get different quantities. Oh, I'm, I am taking care of myself. Um, um, no big meds or anything like that, just, you know, Excedrin and some heat, you know, and uh, probably less coffee. <laughs> Again, thank you everyone for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Michelle, for allowing me to pop in on your page. Um, once again, I'm Chris with Red Wine Wreath Boutique. Jump over and give me a follow. Never know what I might come up with next. All right, you guys. Take good care. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.